All right, welcome to the third video. By this point, you should have added some, at least one extra button and added a few different LEDs, got them working and played around with different flash patterns on your own. Here's a couple of commands that I want you to know about and start experimenting to see how you can use these in other programs. The first one that I want you to look at is under these operators, menu. We've got the and, or, and not. Right? So what you can do is you can pull these green out and instead of having just one digital pin, you can have two digital pins in there. And um, so if you added an extra button, you can go ahead and um, have you, make you have to press two buttons. So go ahead, play around with that. Show me a program where you've used that. The next thing I want to show you is, as you probably noticed, you know, I've got my program here, it's pretty clean, but depending on your flash pattern and how many different flash patterns you have, your program can start to get a little big and unwieldy. That's why I want to point something out to you to help that. Under this control menu, you'll notice something down here at the bottom called subroutine. Go ahead, pull one of those out. What this does is this creates an instance. This creates, it's kind of like a command. You can make your own command. So if I want to, um, I can name this subroutine. Um, as long as, don't put any spaces in the name. It won't work if you put spaces in the name. And it's generally, um, so you could do like flash underscore A. So this would represent flash pattern A. So you can then take all of this and put it in your flash pattern A. Next, you can right click and create a reference. And up in the top corner, that should create a little purple block that says flash A. Right. Now, um, now we can have all of that flash pattern, right? All of this is represented by this one little thing. So first, when our program starts getting complicated, we're gonna to wanna to use these subroutines to help us walk through and help us see the flow because now I can set this aside and I know what flash pattern A is and if I ever need it, I can pull it back and refer to it, but um, I can go ahead and now I can make flash pattern B and I can save a lot of space and our program can be a lot easier to read. So go ahead and use the subroutine function to uh, create a few different things with that. And then I want to see your results um, using both the subroutines and the, um, and the operators, the control operators uh, with that, right? Try these. If you can figure out how to use these, that'd be better, but I don't think we're quite ready for that yet. All right, um, so go ahead, show me what you can do.